Represent the values that you stand for. Click the link below for God, Family, and Guns merchandise. I want to take a moment and talk about some obscure laws that are all around this country that are literally taking the guns out of your hands and putting them in the hands of criminals. And I'll start by sharing that I'm from Missouri, but I helped open a charter school in Harlem in New York City uh, many years ago. And New York City for me became like a second home. I love that city and I still spend a lot of time there doing some work right now. And there's a particular law, well, several laws in New York City. I'm just going to give this as an example, um, and these are all over the country. But there's particular laws that are designed to clear out the prison system, to keep people out of jail, to kind of relieve, uh, you know, essentially uh, depopulate the prison system. And they're really revolving around this idea that robbery is not necessarily a crime. Now, examples of that would be in New York City, if I go into a drugstore and I grab a bunch of stuff and run out and there's a cop outside and he grabs me, he's not going to take me to jail. He's going to give me a ticket is what he's going to do. If I go up to a car and I steal it, and I get pulled over for auto theft, I will go to jail, but there is no bail. I don't have to pay any bail. I just have to agree that I will come back to court. In addition to that, if I rob a store with a gun and nobody gets injured and there, nobody dies, I will get arrested, but there is no bail and all I have to do is agree to come back. Now, let's just take this same scenario um, and put that aside, but let's say myself, I take my family to New York City and I have my Missouri concealed carry permit. I have no warrants for my arrest. I pay my taxes. I have no criminal background history at all. And I happen to be concealing a gun. That particular crime in New York City, well, my opinion, that is not a crime, and I think the Constitution of the United States supports me, and I'm sure the Supreme Court is going to agree in the next month or two. But right now, the city of New York looks at that as that is a crime, and that does not fall in this category of trying to keep people out of prison. So I get prosecuted to the extent of the law. I could possibly get 25 years on Rikers Island for that crime. That, my friends, is messed up. In other words, as a law-abiding citizen with his children walking through the city carrying a firearm concealed carried safe with a license to do so in the United States might get me 25 years in prison, but if I take that exact same gun and I walk into a store and I rob it, I get no time. This is a, is, a, is a prime example of them taking the guns out of our, literally saying it is illegal for you to own a gun. But if you do own a gun and you rob somebody and you become a criminal, that is okay. That is okay. And guess what's taking place in New York City, by the way? ridiculous amounts of gun crime. Now, the new mayor does say he's going to put an end to that, but so far he hadn't. Let's put it that way. And a lot of people say they're going to do a lot of things when they're running for office. But right now, what we're looking at is we're looking at uh, people that can literally steal a car, steal another car, steal another car, steal another car, steal another car, uh, rob a store, rob another store. The, uh, people don't even try anymore. They don't even try to hide it. They just do it right out in the open because it's not even illegal. This is exactly an example of what the Bible talks about, that in the end times, good will be evil and evil will be good. Now, there, this is a tiny example. There's a lot of that going on in the world. But this is a tiny example of it. it it's, it's pretty messed up.
you're better off being a criminal with a gun in New York City than you are being a law-abiding citizen with a gun in the New York City. Um, California, very similar. Very similar laws in L.A. County specifically. Um, you know, also Chicago, same situation. You know, you, you could go in as a law-abiding citizen, tourist, you get pulled over, you got a gun on you, you might go to, well, you're probably going to go to jail, you might go to prison, uh, use that same gun to rob some, same person, same gun, <laughs> rob somebody with it, as long as you don't kill them or injure them, uh, you're okay, that's okay, yeah, that's good, you're good to go with that. Um, this is messed up, and um, I don't know if many people are really aware of it, so I just want to put some awareness at the very least out there. i uh, love to hear your thoughts on it, I'm sure it's going to be pretty angry and negative. Couldn't imagine anybody thinking this is wise, but uh, put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel through Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.